In this video, I'm gonna explain to you how female attraction actually works, how your looks is simultaneously and paradoxically the single most important thing about you when it comes to attracting a woman, yet the least important thing when it comes to attracting a woman. We're gonna dive into that. How can it be both? But how can it be both? And why being a black pillar and overly obsessing about your looks is absolutely retarded. So let's get into this. Number one, why is your looks the most important and simultaneously the least important thing when it comes to attraction and getting women. Listen, being tall and being gorgeous and having big muscles and being young, white teeth, full head of hair, nice beard, all this stuff, you know, good facial structure, jaw, all these things, extremely, extremely important to women. One of the most important things, but here's the key, guys. I teach how to build a high status social media, meeting women on dating apps and stuff like that. That is not gonna work for every guy. I'm sorry to tell you, like if, if you want me to help, you're like, but I was gonna do my free audit and pay you all the money in the world, Raybeard, I want your help. It ain't gonna work for a lot of you and here's why. When it comes to looks, what's the most important thing is that you get at least to a six out of 10, a universal six. I believe that I am a universal six. You can check on the comments. If you watch this video like any time longer than 10 minutes after it first goes live, you're gonna see a lot of people who think on the contrary, who think I am a solid three. People swear I'm like, I'm like a swap monster. I ain't that ugly, I'm above average. I'm a six, maybe even a 6.5 if you wanna be generous. And that's the key, guys. I mean, look, look at my body. I don't, know, I don't know, I can't see what's in frame right now. I can't you know, see how much of my body is showing. But listen, like, I'm in pretty good shape. I'm pretty lean. Uh, I take off my physique, girls wanna bite my muscles, I got a hair transplant, I did the most I could and I have a cheese of six out of 10. Most guys, unless you're making excuses and bitching about it, there's a few people who may be physically deformed, 99% of you watching this can get at least a six out of 10 universally, and then just certain girls, that like, in my case, super pale gingers with a red beard and piercing bluish green eyes, you are going to be a 7.5 or an eight, or do I dare say, I'm even a nine to certain girls. I've dated girls at actual perfect tens. You guys can go to uh, my Instagram, RedbeardRants1, and you can see all the girls in the past that I dated that are true to life, perfect tens, and they would not be dating me if they didn't think I was handsome. But that's the key, guys. And this is why I said my strategy where I build a super high set of social media, have you dress super well, friends, travel, super luxurious places. You're out at these big group dinners. There's cool guys there. There's sexy girls at the table, but you're not too close to them. You're not touching them. Hmm, what's going on? Are you dating them? It's mysterious. You giving a speech. That works insanely well, but you have to be at least a six out of 10. You cannot be gross to touch. And this is why if you are obese, if you have some weird, like, horrendous acne or some condition, if you have a comically big like shark fin nose, that is the main thing you're gonna wanna focus on, okay? Your, your confidence, your game, even your height, your money, things like that are not gonna matter if you are legitimately actually gross to touch. And for the guys that are 5'3", five, 5'4", five, unfortunately, that's gonna hold you back for the rest of your life on 70% of women. You can go to other dating markets where you know the average guy is a lot shorter and that will help. So this is why I tell you guys, listen, now, if you go from a six to an eight, are you gonna get a lot better results? Yes, you are. Listen, I don't, please don't be stupid. Please don't be low IQ and retarded in the comments. Like, I get it. The more good looking you are, the easier this stuff gets. You appeal to more women. But the thing is this, guys, you could take a guy who's objectively a lot better looking, let's say a caramel skin toned, light skinned, tall, athletic black guy with style and flavor and he's got money and dresses well. That is what's hot, especially in Western countries in the United States right now. That's attractive everywhere, I take that back. <laughs> Those guys crush it everywhere. But to a certain demographic of girl, believe it or not, I am the more handsome man. This face, these close together eyes. I don't even know. Are, let me know in the comments. Are my eyes actually that close together? I don't know. Like people tell me that on like a daily basis. Like why are his eyes so close together? Maybe it's like the lens I use. I don't know. I've never been told that in real life, but I'm, I'm on, when I'm on camera, when I'm streaming, people always say his eyes are too close together. But anyway, we have this handsome, light-skinned, athletic, muscular, good-looking black guy next to me. light skin. I'm still better looking to say 10, 15% of them because I'm their type. This is why when you see, for example, if you're in a group chat with your friends and you put in, you ever like put in like, I don't know, for example, maybe your type is like, so you like skinny Asian girls or you're like these really like these Scandinavian Swedish models that are like, you know like the models, like the Scandinavian ones are like this, they look like 
oh, like their cheekbones are up to here and they got like these sucked in like hollow cheeks. I don't like those girls. I think they look like trannies to me. Uh, some of them get like the, the, the fish lips. They got like the fish lips and the hollow cheeks and the high. I don't like those type of girls. I like a young, big booty mixture between Spanish and indigenous, light skin, morena, or even dark morena, Latinas. That's my type. Not into black chicks, not into white chicks, not so much into Asian chicks either, okay? My penis is racist. I am not racist. Redbeard loves you are no matter what your ethnicity is. But if you're a woman, I only want to fornicate with you if you're Latina pretty much for the most part. There's beautiful girls of other races, but I digress. So how female attraction actually works is you must absolutely focus entirely on your looks as the single most important thing. If you are fat, if you have some deformity, I don't know, whatever it is, you have to get, and listen, you guys know here, like if you can achieve like a six out of 10, you may have to grow a beard, you may have to put some, I don't know, get a haircut, whiten the teeth, start a skincare regimen, do vitamin C, niacinamide, uh, maybe a light retinol cream and hyaluronic acid, make you instantly look 10 years younger, worked for me. All girls guess my age as being about uh, 28 these days, and I'm 36. Before the hair transplant, they would guess pretty much spot on. They're like, oh, you're about 35, and yes, I was 35. I got a hair transplant and a skin routine, boom. Now every girl thinks I'm like 27, 28-ish, right? And beyond that, guys, because you have to think of it like this, right? How female attraction actually works is it's uh, somewhat of a point system, right? If you're so super ugly, even if you didn't get to like the quote unquote six out of 10 that I say is so important, let, let's like I found a, find a counter example. Some rappers, like uh, let's say Kodak Black or something, the rapper, if you know this guy, or, or pretty much any rapper who's, whose name starts with Lil, like if you're a rapper and your name starts with Lil, odds are you probably look like a human cockroach. But these guys sleep with a ton of chicks because they have status. So they get all their points. Let's say you need 10 points to be like the sex worthy guy with a chick, then you can get all 10 points from your status if you have that much status. Or let's say you're kind of a meek, meager man. You're not very confident. Let's say you're not that pathetic. You're just kind of soft-spoken and a little bit unsure of yourself and your vocal tonality is not that good. But you're just a drop dead gorgeous man like Brad Pitt when he was 25 or you know Brad Pitt in Fight Club, whatever it is. Yeah, maybe that guy can get by only, only on his looks. But for most guys, if you can at least not be gross to touch, then it's gonna be your status indicators because women are built for survival, to be attracted to indicators of survival. Men are attracted and hardwired in DNA to be attracted to uh, signals of reproduction. So we like the big boobs signals. They can make milk. They can feed a baby with their tits if they have big tits. Wide hips, right? Uh, you know, small waist, wide hips, childbearing hips. That's a reproductive indicator of like, you know, big birth canal <laughs> can birth can hold a baby, right? Uh, young, has all her teeth, good skin. Uh, I already said young. I'll say young again because guys really, really like youth. Um, pretty, symmetrical face means she got good nutrition in her birth and she's healthy and she would probably birth a healthy children. We like reproductive value. Women like survival value. And sure, being a big, tall, strapping lad is good for survival. That is a survival indicator. Being a big, tall, hunky, sexy, muscular man, sure. But like having facial, a uh, perfect facial symmetry will pale in comparison to a guy who's got all the money and all the status. Who calls the shots in the tribe? Uh, the guy with the highest status? For whatever, however he got it, whether it's like, you know, some type of modern society with, I don't know, you know, um, capitalism and like, you know, money and stuff like that, or some type of, you know, pre-civilization, you know, for whatever reason, he was born in some position in ro of royalty. He calls the shots. That guy is going to give her better survival value than the guy with the perfect face. So this is why at a certain point, and listen, there's a particular YouTuber, I won't say his name. You guys could battle it out in the comments and stuff that literally all he says is be a hunky, good looking rich guy like me and you will get girls. And it is that simple. And if you guys aren't doing this, then you're dumb and you know, nothing else really matters. Like it, it's so simple. Just listen to me, just be uh, super good looking stuff. And it's just not the reality for most guys. Again, I think almost any guy can get from say a two or a three to a six. I think some guys uh, are pretty fucked from birth and only, only gonna be able to get, you know, to maybe a five, listen, a ripped physique 
even if you're kind of short, is universally attractive. Anybody can get, and again, oh, you're gonna roast me in the comments. I don't care, roast me. I'm not claiming that I, like, I'm just saying, bro, like I take my shirt off and girls bite my muscles and grab me and go, oh, and like, oh, they, they turn into like little, oh, like panthers and they like start scratching me and like, they, 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 they like my body, okay? I don't care what you in the comments say. I take off my shirt, girls like my physique in person. So. Not every guy can get, listen, if you could all get to a, an eight or a nine level attractive, that would be great, that would be awesome. But you can only fix yourself up to a certain point and you only need to be a 6.5. To the guys who say game doesn't work or uh, yeah, building your confidence, social skills, a cold approach pickup, day game, all this and that, or they say their money doesn't work, two things. If you're saying money doesn't work, so you have money, but you're not getting girls. Money doesn't work because I'm rich, I don't get girls. You have not achieved the at least six out of 10 physical attractiveness or your confidence and your personality is weird and off-putting, your vibe, your communication is bad and I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, okay? If you're saying that a uh, game doesn't work, right? Okay, you maybe, uh, maybe you, well, you probably don't have good game, first of all. <laughs> like, you, you're either that, that like rare guy who's not even a 6.5, you're just like not even like hygienic, you don't hit the gym, you drink a lot, you got bitch tits from the high estrogen from drinking, you play video games all day, um, something like that, you're completely broke and, and girls don't want to get in a relationship with, with, uh, with broke guys. Um, but there's something going on because, trust me, before this whole high status social media, and yes, that is the best way to meet women, and yeah, like I always talk about, I'm still doing free Instagram audits. Go to my Instagram, link in the description of this video, Redbeard Rants one I'll give you a free Instagram audit and teach you how you can turn your Instagram into a automated date machine. Even get an online dating virtual assistant in there, put that high status attractive profile in front of as many women. But like I keep saying, it won't work unless you're at least a 6.5. Online, in person, this cold approach stuff won't work unless you're at least a 6.5. I know this because before this online stuff even came out, the first 150 girls that I slept with was all before Instagram came out. And they weren't all, you know, a lot to brag about. I, if I'm gonna be honest, the first, like, of the first 40 girls that I smashed, most of them were pretty low quality. It was when I got the 40s and 50s that I said, all right, cool, I'm only going for like, you know, seven, 7.5s and above. And I know that a 6.5 can get really, really hot girls off of just game or just taking better photos on dating apps and maybe and maybe cheating and touching them up a little bit, maybe making the muscles a little bit bigger. But I know this stuff works because I am that guy. And if it's not working for you, then you gotta hit the gym more, you gotta get that little bit minimum threshold of looks and once you reach that little minimum threshold of looks at 6.5, that's when game starts working, that's when you start being confident and cocky and girls actually start responding to you, that's when you get really, really good photos and you actually start getting matches and you must obtain that first. I hope you guys enjoy this. Please subscribe if you are new here, otherwise like the video and also leave me a comment, it really helps me in the algorithm. Peace out guys, I really hope you enjoy this rant.